Okay, we're just getting started on the left shoulder. We tried to do a gentle manipulation under anesthesia, and we just couldn't get the shoulder fully released the way I would have liked. So now we're looking in. There's the rotator cuff. That looks good, so that's encouraging. The biceps tendon is long gone. It used to be attached up in this region here, and it's gone. You've got some arthritic change, but the main reason we're here is to release the joint capsule, especially posteriorly. So what I'm going to do, hold the camera here, please. I'm going to take a switching stick, and then I'm going to take another switching stick. But we're going to put the camera in the front and have a look from the front to the back. So we'll go off on the video. Okay, so now we're looking from the front to the back. Here's our scissors. You can see them here. This is the posterior capsule that we're about to address. And we're going to start So I'm going to get a good sense of exactly where I am. Okay. We'll pull the cannula back just a little bit. And now we got a pretty good look at the capsule there. Hold the camera here with your left hand. Thank you. I got this. So I just need to make a little start here and then it'll be easier. Okay, so here we are just releasing the rest of the capsule inferiorly. We'll look down the front. We're going to put the scissors in the front in a minute. I just want to see how far we need to get. Sometimes you can even make a little starter hole here. I'll show you some more in a little bit. Okay, we're just taking all the water out of the joint. We've done the release. Pump is off. That's why it looks this way. We're just going to drain all the water. And then we're going to be getting you back to the recovery room shortly. But I just wanted to show you what it looks like when there's no water in. So everything's moving fine. We've released quite a bit. We're going to take out these cannulas and get you back to the recovery room shortly, okay? So good luck to you now. Bye-bye.